Welcome to Building Your Customer Relationship, Ways to Say Thank You. In this part of our eight-part series on ways to improve your brand, we're going to focus a lot on showing appreciation to your customers. The old proverb states that if you give thanks a little, you'll receive a lot. And so by appreciating your customers and showing them how much you care, you'll be able to take your business far. In this series, we're specifically going to talk a little bit about ways that you can do that. The first way is going to be with a handwritten note. We live in a digital world, but your business can really stand out when you actually take the time to handwrite a note to your customer, showing them how thankful you are for their purchases and thanking them and letting them know that you care. And of course, because we live in a digital world, we have to talk a little bit about email as well. And so in addition to handwritten notes, which is a great way to stand out, email is a great automated way to get to your customers on their mobile phones, on their tablets, and right on their computers. There's three different styles of emails that I recommend when you're trying to show customer appreciation to your customers. The first is the standard, thank you for your purchase email. Especially if you take orders online, it's great to send a thank you, letting them know that you appreciate their purchase. It doesn't always have to be the invoice order. It could just be an additional email afterwards, thanking them for their purchase, and then also giving them maybe a coupon code or a free gift as a thank you. But you want to try to uh, elicit them to get a, a, re um, a repeat order or something like that using that thank you for your purchase email. Secondly would be anniversary emails. So if you have a customer who's stayed with you year after year, you want to continue to show your appreciation for their loyalty. And so by using an anniversary email, you can certainly do that. Just saying, hey, thanks, here's our one-year anniversary or here's our five-year anniversary. And the offers that you deliver may be a coupon code for a specific percentage off their order or free shipping or maybe a free gift. All of those things would be dependent on the lifetime of the customer and how long you've been together. And, and obviously, as they continue to grow with you, their uh, anniversary offer would be a little bit better than it was maybe the past year or a few years back. Lastly is happy birthday emails. If you're able to keep track of your customers, not only on their anniversary date, but on their specific birthday email or birth dates, you're able to send birthday emails um, that are dedicated to them that show that you care, you're thinking about them on their special day, and again, you could use a coupon code or something to drive orders through that as well. After we look at emails, I want to talk about gifts. So gifts are a great way to show appreciation. I know I personally love when I receive a gift as a thank you from somebody, and so there's no better way to show appreciation than to give a physical gift. One idea would be to do a free gift for bulk orders. So buy 100 t-shirts and get this free gift free, or buy 10 t-shirts and get this gift free. Of course, the gift can vary, but you want to thank people for ordering bulk items um, and being able to purchase a lot of items from your store. Maybe it's a package or maybe it's multiple products, but delivering a free gift for that. Next would be offering a surprise gift. And so this could vary depending on the size of your customer or the size of their order. A surprise gift for a smaller customer could be something simple with your logo, maybe a pen or a USB drive or a mouse pad. Something that's useful is going to be the best for your customers and something that's um, beneficial to your target audience. So if you're selling to corporate customers, of course, pens and mouse pads make sense. If you're selling to um, moms and you're selling a lot of children in apparel, you may want to look at a different item for the free gifts that you're delivering to your smaller customers. Now for larger customers, there's a big benefit in standing out in the way that you deliver the products and the free gifts that you give them. This time the free gift may have their logo on an item. That way you're able to give them something that's useful, something that's a little bit more personalized. Um, if you think about some of the events or things that you print for, you may have a large marathon or a large event that happens in your area. You may print for them every year and it's a big revenue stream for you. There's a lot of benefit that going the day after or after the event to the coordinator, giving them maybe an extra gift, maybe a bag of the event or a jacket with their company's logo on it, and maybe a latte or donuts, and doing that in person. So actually showing up and say, hey, I was thinking about you, wanted to make sure the event ran smoothly, here's a free gift, and here's something that lets you know that we care. So those are some great ways to stand out as well. Lastly, another great way would be to hold an appreciation event or an open house at your location. If you have a showroom, it's a great way to not only get people into your shop to see maybe new designs or new things in your showroom and sell some product, but also provide some snacks and some food and let them know you appreciate their business and want to welcome them in to kind of get the leg up and see new products and, and kind of spend some time with you as well. Whatever way you choose, 
it's important to decide how you want to appreciate your customers and start implementing this to improve your brand. Thanks for joining me this week.